Welcome back. Today we want to talk about common HTML elements. So we're going to talk about just simple HTML markup today, just so you get a better sense of how to put together an HTML document. If you remember from last time, we talked about this HTML markup example. This is a pretty typical structure that you'll see. We have an opening tag, we have a closing tag, and in between we have the content that we want to mark up. So last time we said that this would uh, basically show the word bibliography in italics because emphasis, the emphasis tag is um, basically how we format text to be italic. So all HTML really is on some level is learning all the different tags that we need to create HTML elements that structure the document the way we want it structured. So here are some common HTML elements in a pretty typical layout for a page. We're gonna get into more detail in uh, sort of some of the demonstrations that are on their way. But for now, just to get us started, I wanna explain a couple of things that you will see. Uh, the first is the root element of an HTML document is HTML. You can see there's the opening tag. And then at the bottom, we have the closing tag. Everything inside is also, for the most part, an HTML element. So the first thing that you learn is that many, if not all of the HTML elements are sort of pairs of tags with content in them. And those tags or those elements can be nested inside of other elements. So for example, inside the HTML element, we have a head element and a body element. The head element is basically there to uh, communicate things about the web page that the browser needs to know. So for example, um, most web pages have a title and the title is what appears up in the tab of a web page. So this isn't something that's going to show on the web page itself. It's going to show in the tab description of that web page. So that goes in the head. And you can see the way we tell the browser what to show as the title of that tab is a title tag. Now the stuff inside the body, that's the stuff that we actually see on our web page. So things that we can have, we can have headers. So H1 is uh, the highest or the largest header. Uh, there are headers from H1 to H6 and uh, H6 is obviously very, very small. We also have uh, paragraphs. So there's the opening tag of the paragraph and the closing tag of the paragraph. And inside would be basically a paragraph of content that we want on our website. And then finally, and this is what makes the hypertext in HTML work, we need a way to link from our document to other documents. And this is referred to as the anchor element. And the anchor element shows us something new. In addition to having you know, an opening tag and a closing tag and content, it also has an attribute. And lots of uh, HTML elements have attributes that we use to configure different things about our web pages and web applications. So with respect to the anchor element, what this is going to do is this is going to highlight the MDN web docs as a link on our page. And when someone clicks on that link, it's going to take them to the document at this URL. So this is a very simple web page, a very simple HTML document that creates a very simple web page, but it has a lot of the common elements that you'll see uh, on most HTML pages. 
So I know that's a lot. Let's uh, sort of break this down and make sure that we understand the basics. An HTML element refers to the tags and the content that we see. So this entire structure here is an HTML element. And an HTML element basically has three parts, an opening tag, the content, right? The, the, the detail, the data that we wanna show or the, the phrase that we wanna show and a closing tag. All of these things together are known as an HTML element. So when thinking about how to learn this language and how to structure documents for the web, basically all you're doing is learning HTML elements, what they do, and how to use them to make compelling content. There's really no substitute for going out and reading the documentation yourself. So for example, uh, the Mozilla Developers Network has a great list of web documents and uh, we've clearly referenced them in this presentation. A second resource that many people find useful is W3 Schools and they also have their description of common elements. Next time there won't be a presentation as we've uh, done previously but I'm actually going to demonstrate how to put together a simple HTML page on a regular old Windows 10 computer. Again, we're going to not use any software that you have to buy. We're going to use only software that's already on Windows, just so you get a sense of um, how these pieces fit together and how straightforward it can be to make your own web page. So until next time, have a great day, and I hope to see you soon.